Hi everyone. I hope you've been enjoying the gymnastics that we've done so far. We've already learned how to do a log roll, a pencil roll, and an egg roll. Now today we're going to start doing the rolls that I think are really, really fun. Second grade has two more standards that we're supposed to know before the end of the year. So we also need to learn how to do the shoulder roll and a forward roll. Now today we're going to work on the sh on the shoulder roll. The shoulder roll is actually a backwards roll, but it's not exactly backwards. So I'm already sort of ready for this one. Now I mentioned earlier this week in yoga when we were doing the candle pose that that was good practice for this. So we're going to lay down in a very similar position to how we started the candle pose. Now you'll notice I'm looking off to the side and you might be thinking, well of course Mr. B you're talking to us and here we are. But that's actually not why I'm turned to the side. Because we're going to be going backwards, most of us would think of going straight over. And if you go straight over, you know, like this, we're going to end up pushing our head into our chest and we can damage our neck. We can really hurt ourselves. So we want to be really careful with this. So number one, make sure you're on a soft surface like I am. I should have mentioned that first. I'm on my foam mats on top of the rubber mats. So nice and soft here. So you're going to need some carpet here. Don't do this on time. All right, back to our body position. I'm looking sideways so that when I roll over this shoulder, I'm looking that way. Okay, so that's something very important to remember. We're going to turn to the side and we're going to bring our legs towards the direction we're going. You know, you would never do this without warming up first. We just finished our warm up, so we're ready to go. Now, just like in the candle pose, we're going to just do a couple practice ones here. So start bringing your legs up like this. Don't go all the way over and then bring them back down. Bring your legs up and rock back to the start. Rock. So you can not only use your abdominal power and the force of swinging your legs up, you can push with your arms a little bit here too to give yourselves a little more power. Now as you get stronger, you're going to be able to flip yourselves over using your abs, your abdominal strength much more easily. So for me this one's pretty easy in terms of getting the strength. Now what I lack in gymnastics is grace. So gymnastics combines not only strength, power, flexibility, but grace as well. Now grace is basically looking beautiful when you're doing it. And that's not my strongest suit. But I can do this without too much of a problem. So now after we've done that a few times, so again, make sure you're bringing your legs in like this. So we're, the only difference between this and the candle really is we're not holding the position like we did on the candle. We're not pushing up here. This time we're going to try and go all the way over. So here's what it should look like. And I'll do a couple of these before you start. All right, so ready? When you feel like you're ready, we're going to just like that and try and come all the way up to this position. Now they do this often in dance or, or gymnastics and usually they would do something at the top. They'll make a beautiful pose or something like that. Today we're just worried about trying to get over. So let me show you again. We reset ourselves again. Make sure you have plenty of room and you're on something soft. And we're going to go right over your shoulder and always be ensuring that you are looking the direction you're going. And your body should just follow and try and get all the way up to a knee. And as you get better, you might be able to add something at the end there for balance. There we go. We're going to do one more. And, oops, that was my worst one. We can't end on that one. I'm going to do one more. So again, don't expect to get these down perfectly. And don't expect to do it perfectly every time. The important thing is that we're safe and we're getting stronger and we're getting better. We're improving ourselves. All right. Go. A little better on that one. All right, everyone. So that's the shoulder roll. So practice, practice, practice. That's the only way you're going to get good at it. It's the only way you're going to get better at it. Just keep practicing. Get your brother or your sister or your mom or your dad to work on it with you and have them watch the video so they can also help you if they notice a problem because you can't really see yourself when you're doing the shoulder roll. Now, some of you are probably thinking right now, mom and dad, no way. They're too old. They can't do this. Well, I'm 45 years old, which I've never mentioned on video. My students know this because I tell them all the time. And chances are, I'm probably older than your parents. So getting older doesn't mean you have to get unhealthy. You have to get overweight and slow down. Okay. And to show you that, I wanted to show you something I found kind of amusing. 
Now every year, you all, not everyone, but a lot of you dress up like on the hundredth day of school, the hundred year old person. And what do you, a lot of you bring? Canes, walkers, and you look like this. Why? Because old people are weak, they're frail, but you don't have to be. You can get anything out of life in your body that you want. And to prove that to you, I'm not just telling you that I'm 45, I want you to watch this real quick. This woman was 94 years old last year. She just came on TV recently. See that? She was just doing a candle pose. This is her floor routine at one of the gymnastics competitions. And I want you to see the next thing she's going to do here. Again, and rethink what you think about what old is. So look at her. These are called parallel bars. And she's going to support her whole body. She's doing somersaults, all kinds of other things on here. And you may be thinking, well, she's unusual. Yeah, she is. But look at all the other older people around her, all in the same competition. So again, you can do anything in life that you want, boys and girls, but you gotta work at it. You gotta find what you love to stay healthy and do it until you die. It doesn't matter what it is, whether it's gymnastics, whether it's sports, cheer, dance, or snowboarding like me, I'm gonna be on a snowboard till I die. So find what you love to do, work at it, get better, and don't ever take no for an answer. Don't give up. All right, everybody, that's my message for the day. Go start practicing your shoulder. I'm gonna see you in the next section.